Hello, everyone. I'm Jimmy. And I'm Phil. And uh, welcome to Spooky Appalachia. Um, today, we've got another Black Eyed Kid encounter story uh, that we found. Um, we did some digging and found this one posted in various places on the internet from Raleigh, North Carolina. And it took place in uh, 2012. Uh, so we hope you enjoy it. Carrie Kisner hadn't intended to stop at the Triangle Town Center Mall on her way home from Wake Tech Community College near Raleigh, North Carolina, but she did. She wished she hadn't. There were very few people there that day, and I found it strangely eerie how quiet it was, Kisner, 20, said. While walking back to my car, I rounded a corner and saw an older lady and a young boy. He immediately caught my attention because he was so odd-looking. I had never seen anyone like him. The boy, about 12 years old, seemed average at first, but as Kisner watched him talk with the woman, he seemed anything but average. The boy's black hair contrasted sharply with his pale skin. Dark patches hung under his eyes. It looked like he hadn't slept in weeks, Kisner said. He had a very thin face. As Kisner walked closer to the pair, she heard their conversation. In a quiet but strong voice, the boy asked the woman for help. He stood very rigid, with his hands by his side, looking at the ground as she fished around in her purse for something to give him, Kisner said. As I got closer, I noticed he seemed to get more and more uncomfortable. The boy began to shift his body when Kisner passed them on the way to her car. Then he lifted his head and made eye contact with her. I froze. His eyes were black as night. Very dull, almost dead, Kisner said. The look he gave me has haunted me. The feeling I got from him was as though he wasn't all there, almost ghostly. Eyes locked on Kisner's. The boy turned slowly and, not waiting for the older woman to give him what she dug for in her purse, simply walked away. Kisner doesn't know who or what the boy was but this memory will stick with her forever. Ever since then, the look he gave me has haunted me, she said. Almost like he knew what I had been thinking. Wow, who doesn't get the chills from these black-eyed kid stories? Yeah, they're, they're creepy. Uh, um, definitely. North Carolina. Do you remember where the first one we found was? Or like the, the first, first one, or do you know where they came from? Or the first one that was supposed to, I, I, I can tell you both. The first yeah. one that uh, we found was supposed to have happened in Virginia in 1950, I believe. Okay. And then the one everyone says the first, I think, happened to a guy that was parked in his car outside the movie theater. And uh, two of them came up to his car and asked for a ride. Uh, they were saying they forgot his mo their money or something. Yeah. I think we... Did we do that one? I feel like no. we, either we did that one or I read it somewhere. You probably read it somewhere. Okay. We hadn't done that one. Cool. I don't yeah, remember we've done where a few it took from place. Appalachia. I also don't remember... I don't know why I remember that. I don't know. Maybe it just yeah. sticks out. A couple of them do. They do. They're really creepy. Yeah. Cool. Uh, I'd love to get some more. We've actually been sent one before. I would love it if someone would send us one. If you've had one, send it to us. Yeah. Or any kind one. of any any story. Mm -hmm. um, email us at webmaster at spookyappalachia dot com. Otherwise, I'll uh, I'll be on the lookout for some more. Yeah, for sure. Well, thank you all for tuning in, and uh, big thanks to our Patreons, Alvin, Charles, Danielle, Donald, Jeff, Jordan, Josh, Julia, Linda, Shannon, and Taylor. And thank you for tuning in. Take care, everyone.